This Rec Tech video is to address the common question that we get on our tech line about the governor surging problem that you have on a GX120 in the Mini Z or in the Mini Rev when you install a power intake kit or a governor spring. What you're going to need for, to take care of this project is you're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench, a side cutters, and a needle nose pliers. What typically happens during surging is you're going to see the governor arm move back and forth like I'm doing with my hand. What you're going to do is you're going to take the stock governor spring that you just removed and replaced with the gold spring. This could be black, gold, or silver depending on the model and year of the machine. Now here's what we're going to take and do. We're going to take our 10 millimeter wrench and we're going to loosen up the top right hand recoil bolt. You don't want to take it completely out. Then we're going to take our spring that we have and we're going to hook it in hole number H or letter H and we'll just bend it down and then we'll slide it underneath our bolt. Now here's the very important part of doing this. You see that I can move this governor arm back and forth. It's very important that the governor arm gets moved as far forward as possible. You want to hold that with your finger. You want to take the governor spring and just put very little tension on it and you want to loop it around. Now if my fingers are in the way I apologize. Now this is where you're going to take and use your needle nose pliers, you'll go around and you'll just squeeze it together a few times to get a loop there. We'll take our side cutter and we'll cut off the spring. Then we'll go ahead and we'll take our wrench and we'll tighten up the 10 millimeter nut. Now you want to make sure that you hold down where my fingers at here so this spring doesn't try to turn up. After you're done there, what you've just created is somewhat of a buffer spring for your governor arm. So now, instead of having the surging problem, this should solve it. If you still have some surging, what you can take and do is you can take your needle nose pliers, go down to the base of the spring, and just tip it up ever so slightly. That should solve the rest of your surging problem. I hope this tip, tech tip helps you out.